enough. I must stay in the eye of the whirlwind. Must push myself harder. You know, your highness, it's rude to eavesdrop. You have need of me to defeat Calamity Ganon. To slay the beast once and for all, it will be my great pleasure. Thank you, Rivali. If we work together, I'm certain we'll be able to However! I play the biggest part in helping that... <clears throat> that little knight with the darkness sealing sword, correct? Well, if he loses his confidence after seeing me in action, don't come crying to me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. Rivali, move your tail closer to the group! Ugh, fine. Forged in the long distant past, the Gee, this is uplifting. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed knight with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page as the princess regarding this boy. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I have been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness sealing sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong? Maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? <gasps> Little guy, you get the Hyrule Castle. Well, I'll 
be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Chasm. Feel free to thank me now. Or never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. Sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast, and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the sting of my revenge!